With MovieStorm 1.4, you can create a huge range of characters. Here's a quick look at how it all works. We'll go into more detail in other tutorials. When you first go to the dressing room, you'll see a screen like this. It shows you all the main controls. There's also a printout guide that you can put by your monitor for easy reference. Let's get rid of this now. Let's start by pressing the dice button to get a random character. Keep clicking until you get someone you like. Type a name in the box. Let's call him Fred. If you want a female character, click up here to switch gender and click again. Yes, some of them are a bit strange. That'll do. Okay, let's take control. Start by picking a costume. You'll have different ones available depending on what packs you have. Click on the individual parts of the costume to customize them. You may be able to change the pattern or the color. Now let's make the head. There are loads of tools. We'll cover this separately. Next, add hair and a hat and customize these, and then add accessories. If you want, you can add a bio for your character or notes like who's going to do the voice. One great thing about working with MovieStorm characters is that you can change them anytime. Here, we're partway through shooting a scene, but this outfit isn't working. So go back to the dressing room, make some changes. In fact, let's give her a whole new look. Now when we go back, there's Frida in her work clothes. At some point, you're going to want more than one character in your cast. Click the Cast List button and then Add. Pick a ready-made character from your stock. You can change his name and now edit him as much as you like. Just keep on adding characters the same way. Back in the director's view, your new characters are now available to go on set. If you want to get rid of a character, bring up the cast list again. Select the character and remove them. We haven't used Yoon Lee yet, so that's fine. If you try to get rid of Frida, though, MovieStorm will warn you that she's in a scene, so this may cause problems. If you've made a character you really like, you may want to use them in another movie. Click the Save to Stock button, and she'll be available to you next time you're creating characters. You can add a description if you like. This is really useful if you're making a series. You can share your stock characters with other people, as long as they have the necessary content packs. Open your MovieStorm directory and look under Stock. Here's Frida. If you zip those files up, you can send them to someone else, and they can then use Frida in their movie too. <laughs>